NFT the movie shareholder, friends, advisors, and those that are supposed to see this video. Wanted to give you an update from May 2022 and let you know that every four to six weeks I'll be doing a video update from here on out. We have now passed our year mark. Uh, May of last year, we started filming. The first person we filmed was Brittany Kaiser in Texas. It was history in the making. And there's a reason behind that. There's a story behind that. It's actually pretty funny. But we'll go into that uh, at another time. And then we had Matt McGibbons, and uh, the list goes on there in Austin, Texas. This time last year, 2021. Wow, what a year. I won't go through the entire year, but I will talk about some milestones. And uh, to get started, I want to say that it was today, last year, that we wrapped the vehicle. And when I say wrap, I mean vinyl wrap of the, the little red convertible that we had, that we have. And uh, it was today that we were, we were peeling the paper off of that wrap to get ready uh, shortly after to drive that thing 6,300 mile round trip to Miami. Um, went to California a couple times in that thing. Um, went all over Utah. Here in northern Utah, I'm here up in the mountains in number two, car number two. Put about 23,000 miles on that thing in about four months, three months, three and a half months. And most of the time, the uh, top was down. That was, it is, some of the most fondest times of my life. At the same token... It is no different than today. Last year, I was doing something and it turned into a year later, we have a completely, incredibly talented and loving team. Like when you strip away all of the other things that we've done, like put together a two hour feature film of five little films put into one with at this point 70 to 80 hours of actual film b-roll i would say of that would be 50 percent of it so we're good 35 hours call it 30 to 40 hours of real interview time conservative like it's super conservative um that is made to be multiple movies it was already built to be made as multiple NFT movies about NFTs with NFTs in them and sold as an NFT. That was our vision last year. Our mission was and is to create an NFT movie masterpiece that highlights the lives of the technologists, artists, filmmakers, musicians, and now authors, exercise physiologists, um, <clears throat> homeless individuals, to people who are very, very well off, to politicians, local politicians, as well as history, stories, young, old, black, white, like we have done such an amazing job in just 12 months. But you can take all of that. You can take the trailers and the brand. And you can take the road trips. And the events. And you can just get rid of all of that. And what's left standing is Heidi and Joshua Gilman and Ali Udall, and Sean Uregan, Michael Berklin, Danny Drysdale, Miguel Sellis, Major Dream Williams, Gretchen Marie, Carla Ballard, Ian Utah, Abraham Gomez, James Greaves, 
there there's 15 other people that I could list right now. But for the sake of time, when you put Brian Christ, let me just uh, throw in a few more people here. <clears throat> Brian Christensen, uh, Miriam, uh, Ken Bozak, uh, Brittany Kaiser, Matt McGibbons, Orion, little Orion. Let's not forget, um, so Orion is Brittany and Matthew's child. And then let's not forget Gunner. He's an inspiration. And Titan, that dude, he's watching and learning everything. You watch out for Titan. He's going to go crazy by his NFTs. So we have partnerships with Magic City Ape Dow to co-produce a movie with them, which we're doing right now, a 10 minute mini NFT movie, which we are innovating. We have a deal with first family of NFTs and that is here in Utah with Heidi and Josh and Titan and Gunner. And we're also doing a deal from the block to blockchain. That's major dream Williams, small NFT movie, but you take, take the outside world, take the brand, take everything away. And what's left standing are these human beings. And when you put these people in a room and you just put them in a room, put them in a picture. And then you step back and go, let me see if I understand this correctly. They all get along. They all love each other. They all treat each other with respect. They lift each other up. It's never easy, but they always lift each other up. And they have one common theme. They've all agreed that NFT the movie can be something that would change people's lives. And let's be honest, we are selfish human beings. We always look to ourselves first and we look to our family. When you're on a plane and the cabin pressure goes and those masks pop down, you put that mask on yourself first. Take care of yourself first and then you take care of the child. You make sure that the child has their mask and everybody else in the room. And all those people that I just mentioned, and there's so many more that's going to pop into my mind. All of those people that I just mentioned, you know, Landon Reed over at Puerto Ventures, who built the website three or four days after I told him, hey, man, I want to do NFT the movie. He's like, hey, why don't you send me a few logos? Literally, I woke up to a full functioning website. What you see right now at NFT.com, NFTthemovie.com. And I love those guys at NFT.com, by the way. But NFTthemovie.com is from the heart and mind of Landon Reed and his team at Puerto Ventures. I mean, guys and gals, honestly, the, the people that we have as a community and a culture, what that tells me is that this is yours. It is not identifiable by, by one person or one geography, one background. It is just a platform, and I even hate to use that word platform, but it's just a wonderful, safe space to share your story and to make sure that people feel how you feel. The reason that human beings have causes and the reason that we talk about these causes and the reason that we serve these causes is... Because we believe in these things. And you guys have put in, if you calculate all the people that we have, because we have dozens of shareholders in NFT the movie. But if you calculate all the people that we have in our organization and you multiply their time and effort in building their own brand, sharpening their own saw and their own tool.